Pinworms are the most common types of intestinal worm infections in the United States and also one of the most common types around the world. These worms are thin, they are white, and they usually range from a quarter to about half an inch in length. It is important to note that when an infected person sleeps, usually the female worm lays thousands of eggs around the anus. That is why usually individuals that are infected have a lot of itching around that area at night, although a lot of infected individuals usually have no symptoms. I am the Wisdoc. I'm a board certified family medicine physician, and we'll talk about various topics ranging from sexual health to reproductive health, preventive medicine, health and wellness. And today we will be talking about pinworms. So let's go. Pinworm infections are actually very common among school age children and they are very tiny in size and very easily transmitted from child to child. They can be treated with certain medications that we'll talk about later on and there are also certain measures that you need to put in place to prevent reinfection. So let's talk about the symptoms now. Please note that most people that are infected with pinworms are asymptomatic without any symptoms. But if for some reason you are symptomatic, usually these symptoms are seen at night and involves vaginal itching, perineal itching, genital itching, irritation around the area from all the itching, and also this affects your sleep. If you have an infant in a home with infected individuals that is always fussy at night and is crying all the time, irritable at night, you might want to suspect that the child might have been infected with a pinworm because they can't really complain and point to their genital region, but they just cannot sleep. So how do you get pinworms? This happens by accidentally swallowing the eggs. And how does this happen? This happens through eating, drinking, or even through your fingers. If you have you know, itched your anal area and you bite your fingernails, there's a chance that you could reinfect yourself with the eggs. And once the eggs get into your intestines, what they do is they hatch into the worms and then those mature into adult worms over a couple of weeks. To treat this infection, your doctor might prescribe an over-the-counter medication called pyrantel pamoate which you will require two doses, one now and one in two weeks. But usually the most common prescription medication that your doctor will prescribe for a pinworm infection are mebendazole and albendazole. Now, let's talk about prevention. Pinworms can be prevented through two major ways, right? The first one is hand washing, very important. Hand hygiene is very, very effective or the most effective way of preventing pinworm infections. Secondly, ensure that you change your bed sheets, your underwear daily, and also when you wash them and dry them, use hot water and use a hot dryer, as this will also help get rid of these worms and eggs if they are on your underwear or bed sheets. If you have been infected with a pinworm, here are some things that you can actually do. One, avoid biting your nails. Do not bite your nails because you can reinfect yourself by doing that. Also, keep your nails trim and short. Secondly, avoid itching your perineal area, your anal area, your genital area. Just avoid itching that whole area because if you have an infection and you have the eggs around there, by itching that area, you can contaminate your fingers. Three, try to shower every day. And four, when you shower, preferably after you shower, change your underwear, change your undergarments, change your clothes, and also change your bed clothes. Very important that you do this as this will help prevent reinfection and also help you while you're trying to get rid of the current infection that you have. And finally, we've come to the end of this video. Hopefully this video was helpful. We talked about multiple aspects of a pinworm infection from who's at risk, the symptoms, prevention, treatment, and hopefully this video was helpful. If you don't mind, please hit the like button, subscribe to this channel for future videos as this will help the channel. I would love to hear from you in the comment section if you have any questions and if you have any topic suggestions. I'm the Wizard. Stay happy, stay safe. I'll see you soon. Bye.